What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one of Huggies Beer Reviews. Now I'd like to call this a craft beer review, but unfortunately it's not. Um, let me just show you what we got here. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what I'm talking about and, and what this is. But this is Alexander Keese Nova Scotia Style Brown Ale. This is a Canadian beer, or so I thought. And just to give you the quick backstory on this, um, I've been seeing these beers, the Ale Alexander Keith beers. Um, they have the Nova Scotia Style Brown, the Nova Scotia Lager, I think, and the Nova Scotia Pale. I've been seeing them at my, in my local supermarkets, Publix supermarkets, for maybe the last year or two, right? And I always meant to pick one up out of curiosity. I said, hey, a Canadian craft beer, this is cool, I gotta try this. Um, now the reason I picked it up now is because there's this, there's this uh, character who's been leaving me comments as of late on my videos, and uh, most of his comments either come off really douchey or really weird. Um, I won't get into all that, but I will say that the only comment this individual left me that was a normal comment was one where he said something along the lines of, you know, review some Canadian beers, or when are we going to see some Canadian beer reviews? So I had that in mind when I was at the store yesterday, and I saw this, and I said, you know what, yeah, let me have the Canadian craft beer. And then I get home, and I Google it, and I'll put them down here for a second. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is the Anheuser-Busch website where they list the Alexander Keith's beers. This is anheuserbusch.com. Alexander Keese is a brand that is not imported from Canada. It is contract brewed by Anheuser-Busch in New York State and distributed by Anheuser-Busch in the States. So this is not really brewed by Alexander Keese. It may be their recipe, more or less, supposedly, but this is brewed at a Budweiser facility, which is why I break out my Hurricane Wings glass because it's got the Budweiser logo on the back side there. So sadly, I thought I was going to be getting a thought I was going to be getting a Canadian craft beer, and I got uh, I got another attempt by Anheuser Busch to take your money. They got me. I've been gypped, and it sucks. But anyway, uh, at the store I got these. They had the the lager and the brown ale. I got the brown ale, and yeah, let me take a good look at the bottle here. <laughs> oh shit! Well. That's what I get for not looking. It says A. A. Keats Brewing Company, St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, they got me. 5.4% alcohol by volume. Um, and yeah. I love how on the side it's like a bunch of stuff. Alexander Keith brewed his beer slowly using only the finest ingredients, carefully taking the time to get it right. Established in 1820 in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Brewery has built a reputation for brewing beers that are bold yet friendly like the people from this region. We invite you to try this distinct brew and experience a taste for yourself. So they're going to tell me about the brewery in Nova Scotia when this was brewed in a Budweiser facility in New York State. Lying, crooked, bastard sons of bitches. I'm not happy. Fortunately, it was only like $6.99, $7.99, so it wasn't that big of a hit. Um, and the ratings kind of reflect it. I've already looked it up. Here on Beer Advocate, we're looking at a 77 out of 55 reviews, um, categorized as an American brown ale, and then rate beer out of 79 ratings, a 24 overall. So that's what we're looking at. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go back here. Anyways, so that's what it is. Let me get this six pack out the way here. And whatever. I'm just going to pop one open and, and see what it's like. Maybe it won't be that bad. Maybe it will be. As far as openers, that's why I don't like this little thing. Then again, I never use it. Kershaw Skyline. Too light and too small for my taste, but I'll save that for the uh, knife video. I'm going to do one of these days. Anyway, pop this guy right off. And away we go. And yeah, it's a brown ale. I mean, you know, I like brown ales. I like hoppy brown ales. I like good brown ales. I don't know if this will be hoppy or good. Um, you know, I hate being lied to. Alexander Keith's Nova Scotia style brown ale and Budweiser bastards. Hmm, smells good. Smells toasted malt, hints of hop, 
Not too strong, but you know, nice, a nice smell, nice nose to it. Putting it to the light, it's 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 that dark ruby, brownie, crimson, dark red kind of color. Although it's clear, I can see through it. Good amount of carbonation going on in there. Head sticking around. Looks like the head on a on an espresso. Almost. So yeah, okay. Well, off we go. Cheers. Yeah, assholes at I was gonna say cheers to the assholes at St. Louis, but uh, let me just stop hating them, but they're just another corporation trying to take your money. That's what happens in this uh, modern world we live in. Let me not go there. This is about beer. All right. Cheers, fuckers. Don't take my reaction for like a bad taste, but... This does not have kind of like that gritty, 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 toasty, roasty malt character that, that has a bit of a grit to it, you know what I mean? And has a little astringency. No, this is like a smooth caramel kind of thing, like a sugary sweet caramel kind of thing. While it is a little stronger, this is a, a taste and a mouthfeel that I would associate more with a Bach. Perhaps even a double Bach. It has that smooth caramel kind of thing going on as opposed to a slightly rougher toasted malt kind of character. And there's barely any hops in here. I mean, it's drinkable. And there is a bit of hot bitterness in the finish to clear it up, but if you're expecting like a like a hoppy brown, forget about it. Um, if you're expecting a good brown, forget about it. This is decent, and I will say that this would be a good segue beer, perhaps, you know, to try to put people on to different styles. It's a good starter brown. Um, I won't knock it completely. It's not bad. It's just 100% bland. There's nothing striking, there's nothing, there's nothing that stands out, there's nothing that really makes me ever want to have this beer again, and I got five more. That really sucks. It's approaching a medium mouthfeel, good amount of carbonation. But like I said, the, the, the toasty malt flavor that you'd expect from a good brown ale aren't where they should be. And if you ask me, it could be a little hoppier. Um, yeah, this is kind of like what you'd expect along the lines of like a Michelob Amberbach kind of thing, you know? <sighs> yeah, this, this is what you would expect from like the, the Michelob line when they tried to do the Michelob as a craft beer line and shit. It's, it's, yeah, it's, no, 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 I, I've been robbed. All right, in all fairness though, even though it's brewed by, by, uh, those, those vile bastards at Anheuser-Busch, um, I'll give this. I'll give this a complete middle ground rating. It's not really a glass half empty. It's not a glass half full. It's right in the middle, just because it's so bland, but it's still drinkable. You know, it, it would go good, like you know, out of the bottle over a barbecue on a hot summer day while you're cooking up steaks. You know, something like that. So that's what it is. So if you're curious about Alexander Keith's beers. Go to Canada, go to Nova Scotia, have them there. Don't have them in the States, because if you have them in the States, you're not having Alexander Keys, you're having Anheuser-Busch. Not much more I can say. Um, if you see it, don't buy it. Don't support these lying bastards telling you about a Nova Scotia beer that was brewed in the States, okay? Uh, yeah. Borderline, somewhere between a glass half full, glass half empty, is Alexander Keys Nova Scotia style brown ale. Stay tuned for more Hoggy's Beer on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and yeah, man, just check me out. There's more coming. Cheers.